Hello, welcome to the University of Hertfordshire. The University of Hertfordshire is a campus-based university um, where we pride ourselves on being a safe and friendly place to be. Welcome to the School of Creative Arts, uh, where, the, where the fine art course is housed. We have many connections uh, at the university here. Uh, one of our great connections is, our, is how close we are to London, where, of course, where all the international art and design centres of the world are. There's easy access to galleries and then connections to the art industry. Welcome to BA Fine Art. My name is Paul Johnson. I'm one of the co-programme leaders alongside David Kefford. OK, so fine art, what is it? Uh, fine art is a diverse subject that continually challenges our preconceptions and offers us, us new ways of perceiving and understanding the world. This programme is concerned with contemporary approaches to fine art, whilst also ensuring that students have a clear understanding of past traditions. We're going to be encouraging students to think deeply about their subject and work with their personal interests. We want you to research in depth, take risks, experiment, and most importantly, make. Students are able to specialise or work across multiple media. This could include painting, sculpture, print, video, photography, performance, installation, site-generated work and digital media. Okay, so what's our course philosophy? We have a little working title here called Thinking Through Making. We want you to be creative. We want you to develop a studio practice through the act of making. We also want you to be actively aware of contemporary practice, which of course we'll support you with. We want you to have a professional attitude and critically engage with dialogue and reflection. And most importantly, we want you to experiment and take new risks. 96% of students are in jobs after further study within six months. So this is a great opportunity to sort of point out that actually fine art is a really great degree to sort of um, study. OK, so here are some of our core values. Our first one is being friendly. We are proud of being supportive and a friendly atmosphere within our school. It's a happy and supportive environment. The fine art studios. We pride ourselves on being um, having very large scale spaces for you to sort of work in. Um, there's lots of other uh, other places to access with installation rooms and workshops for you to work across the whole of the university. Field trips. So there's multiple different types of field trips that we put uh, that we um, create. The first one would be sort of um, field trips across uh, the UK to see exhibitions. And what we what we've done this year was that we went to Oxford to went to a two museums, the Museum of Modern Art in Oxford, where we got the curator and the director to talk to our students about the exhibition that was actually happening on site. Um, also. There's a great opportunity every year for to go to, to Berlin, uh, which is one of the art capital of, uh, of the world. What do we want students to do? We want students to develop their confidence and their skills. And this is done through practical workshops, participating in presentation, critiques and seminars and tutorials. We want students to be supported through other group learning um, atmospheres. Students learn from each other and visiting staff as well. Another core value is we want you to be ambitious. We want you to fill, fulfil your potential. Our graduating students gain places on world-leading postgraduate MA courses. This includes Royal College of Art, the Slade and Goldsmiths. You can see the image on the left there. This is Lil Capil, who just actually uh, graduated from the Royal College of Art and is successfully practicing as we speak. 
This is Mary Sava, who went on to doing a painting uh, MA at the Slade. So what happens after your studies? Students, some students work in independently in studios. Um, other students kind of go on to postgraduate study or MA study. Some students go on to art therapy courses. Others go on to teaching careers, where also there's opportunities to go into gallery work or arts administration. And of course, there's related design and media employment as well. This list can go on and on and on. If you're considering uh, further study, our excellent MA Fine Art course here at Hertfordshire, if you study on the BA, you have the benefit of reduced fees if you proceed on to the MA. We're proud to be a culturally diverse um, student group on our Fine Art course. We have an inclusive and exciting diversity of creative practice in the studios. Also alongside this, we have a European and international set of students coming in from many different countries, which creates another type of atmosphere, which is great. Also, we, another value is that we want you to be enterprising. Fine art students learn to be enterprising by working in support of each other, by taking risks, seeking opportunity for creativity, by exhibiting and working in the community. Here are some of our fine art students from a couple of years ago who, after their exhibition free range at Truman Brewery, they were invited back to make a, a mural. We are also student focused, which we find is really important. We want to equally support you and equally challenge you. Our course is focused on the development of the individual. We work to support you to develop and to fulfill your distinct potential. There's expert teaching as well. So all the teaching staff on the Fine Art course are practicing artists and are experts in their field. Students are also supported by expert technicians who run the workshop areas. Here are some of the Fine Arts uh, staff. And there's a diverse range of people who internationally recognized artists in their fields. And we have artists who are sculptors, filmmakers, performance artists, painters, draftsmen, you name it, we've got it covered. Okay, so what actually happens on the course? You will learn through making, through first-hand experiences of exploring materials and processes, sharing ideas with staff and your fellow students, hands-on workshops and demonstrations, and of course, participation in debates, lectures, seminars, critiques, and individual tutorials. Okay, level four, which will be your first year. What we will do here is we'll be doing media imp improvisation through photography, drawing, painting, printmaking, sculpture, digital editing, and time-based performance and video. What there's a really exciting thing here. We we will be supporting all the materials for every workshop in level four. Alongside this will be critical and cultural studies, research and communication skills. And this will be an introduction into how to think about what you're actually making. Of course, there'll be visits, there'll be visits to London because uh, we're so close. Um, there's a number of galleries from major galleries to much smaller galleries, and we'll be signposting and also, we'll be taking you to see shows and introducing you to artists and gallerists along the way. Level five, that's your second year. Um, now, we'll be contextualising your studio practice. And what that means is that we'll be talking about kind of like uh, your thinking behind your work. Um, this will be also there'll be critical and cultural studies and there'll be group seminars and critiques. Also, there's another module called Art in Context, where all students get the opportunity to exhibit in a public gallery um, here at the, uh, at the UH. Uh, as well as that, there'll be placements where you get a chance to work in an artist studio or an arts gallery. Um, that will be your choice. Um, and of course, there's the Erasmus and International Exchange that I mentioned before, where you get a group of uh, young international artists who are going to be mixed into the, the year group. 
Also, alongside that, there's study abroad and placements. So these are exciting opportunities for you to study a part of your studies to be studied somewhere else in the world. So this might be in Europe, from Finland, Poland, Hungary, Romania, for example, or you might even want to go even further to Canada, North America, Japan and Australia. This is a great way of really exploring your work and also having a chance to explore the world. Level six, your final year. We're going to be kind of doing an ambitious studio practice at this stage and we'll be doing it with in, uh, intensive group, group critiques and, and interesting internationally um, focused visiting artists. Uh, alongside this will be a degree show essay um, and also an exhibition um, in your studios and gallery that will be open to the public and your friends and family can come and see what you've been up to. Uh, also, th there's an exhibition at the Truman Breweries um, that has been funded by uh, the school. There's amazing workshops as well here at uh, UA. The first one being an introductory painting and colour workshops. There's an amazing facility, printmaking facility here at UH, which um, if you've seen on our open days, you'll, be, you'll see how well supported you are. If you haven't done one of our open days, maybe in the future book one and uh, come and see what we've got here. Um, they're absolutely very impressive. We have everything from traditional forms of printmaking all the way up to the most contemporary large format um, digital printers as well. There's access to life rooms and draw, life, life drawing uh, regularly throughout the week. And also alongside that, there's digital and film based photography. So there's lighting studios, dark rooms, Mac suites, large format printing and access to all professional equipment that can be loaned from our loan store. Now there's film based photography as well. So we have colour dark rooms, enlargers and, and printing machines and also all the professional kit you'll need. And black and white dark rooms with great technical support. We also have video, video editing facilities with multiple Mac suite software uh, available, digital screens, projectors and serious photography, sound recording and video kit. Sculpture, we are well equipped with, with sculpture with great technical support and we have multiple facilities such as ceramic, a ceramic area, a metal uh, welding area, wood and casting areas. Um, this is a great um, set of uh, rooms and facilities uh, for you to sort of explore. Here's some example of past student work in sculpture. Also alongside your, uh, your studio space, there is bookable uh, performance and installation rooms. So these are extra rooms and extra spaces where you can collaborate with other students, um, photograph your work, test something new out, try a performance. It's just an extra space for you to sort of develop your new ideas. Um, alongside all the different varying events as listed here, um, and exhibitions that are regularly happening around the fine art course. Um, we also have an, a really interesting art talk series called Thinking Through Making. Um, and this uh, was kickstarted this year with uh, the Turner Prize nominee, Mark Titchener, who came in and talked about his work and then went on to talk to the students uh, individually and in small groups the following day. We are putting together a, a new list as we speak of a really exciting internationally recognised uh, artists that we think it was really important you get a sense of what's happening in the world of contemporary art. In your course, as I mentioned before, you will be uh, doing a, an exhibition in your second year uh, in the University Gallery, which is open to the public. And in your final year, you'll be doing an exhibition in your studios and also in the University Gallery. And then after that, there'll be the exhibition that's sort of supported by the schools at the London Truman Brewery. Here's an example of uh, a level four, a first year group activity in our new quad space. We want artists to work together to curate, install and publicise exhibitions.
Students have won prizes in painting, video, and have been selected for residencies, and artists have been selected to particip participate in the, in the annual exhibition New Contemporaries. Um, and each year we've, we're encouraging students to apply, and each year we've been getting stu our students into this uh, brilliant exhibition. Another core value is that we want you to be collegiate. And this means that we want students and staff to share a common aim to be creative, to share understanding and contribute to the community. We also want you to be adventurous. I think that's the key thing here. Being an art student exposes you to a world of creativity, events and new experiences. New company and a vibrant new environment full of creative possibilities and a new social life. This is going to be a beginning of a whole new adventure for you. This is an artwork from a, a, a recent graduate, Chloe, which I think sums it up quite nicely. So, what's stopping you coming in to join us here at University of Hertfordshire? Um, I look forward to meeting you um, on an open day or an interview, or even better still, I look forward to meeting you on the course itself. Thanks for listening. Um, next, the next slide is um, a short promotional film that the students put together for their external exhibition at the Truman Brewery about a year ago. So enjoy and thanks for listening and I look forward to seeing you or speaking to you very soon. Mm -hmm.